All right. Well, welcome everyone who is joining us on Facebook and, um, and those who might be watching later on. Um, some folks I know are watching the night prayer as the morning prayer the next day. So um, as long as uh, you hear God's word and feel his presence and what we are doing, that's just fine. Um, but we're glad that you were here. We're glad that you're joining us either live or even if you're joining us later on, we're glad that you're, you're here with us and hope that this time will be meaningful for you. Just a reminder that night prayer is a time that is supposed to be slow. There's supposed to be some silence. Uh, there's supposed to be some just kind of bringing things down. This is not a, this isn't a high energy service and that's for a reason. It's the end of the day and it's time to set aside all those things that we've been busy with during the day and focus on our relationship with God, which, um, I mean, I'm speaking, preaching to myself here, but should be primary. Uh, but often it kind of gets put into, you know, when it, what something whenever we have time for it. Um, so this is a, this is a time for us to reconnect with uh, the one who created us and sustains us and, loves us uh, no matter what. So thanks for joining us this St. Patrick's Day Eve evening and hope it's been a good day for you. And we put our words right up here on the screen for you to follow along. And we're gonna ask that you do read those parts that are in bold. So I'm gonna share this. We're gonna try it like this. If it doesn't work, folks, I'll get out of it and we'll try it again. Let's see. I'm gonna go. There we go. All right. So this is Mount Olive Lutheran Church's night prayer. Of course, we have folks who join us who are not members of Mount Olive Lutheran, and that absolutely delights us. We are glad to have you with us, whether you are a previous member of Mount Olive or you found us somehow, we're glad you're here. You're certainly welcome. Now we begin our dialogue, but let's, before we do this, we did last week, just take a moment and just get comfortable in your seat. Uh, remove distractions. If you have your phone, turn it off. You know, this isn't gonna be a long service. And let's just take a moment to just take one deep breath in and one long exhale out. So let's begin that. All right. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. And now we have a hymn, All Praise to Thee, My God, This Night, which was a song I was not familiar with really before, um, before this service. And I tell you, I really want to um, encourage you to pay attention to the words of this song. We ha will have it so that you can sing along with the song. There are captions at the bottom which should have the words if I do it correctly. And uh, pay attention to those words. It really captures what night prayer is all about. I just did something wrong. I'm gonna mute myself so I can sing along.
And now we move into the time of confession. So let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Let's take a moment of silence to think about the ways in which we are living, the things that we have done and those things that we have failed to do. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. Now hear these words of forgiveness. By the mercy of Almighty God, we are united with Jesus Christ in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. A reading from Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord, maker of, of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. Let us pray. Lord, where two or three gather in your name, you promised to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family gathered in your name and graciously pour out your blessing upon us for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from Romans 8. I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us sit in silence. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. And now we have another musical offering. Oh, Lord, now let your servant. Um, it's, it's short. And again, you can sing along with this as there are captions.
And now we pray. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And tonight it is St. Patrick's Day, so we are using an Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. And before you uh, depart from Facebook, if you would like to, I encourage you to share a greeting of peace with one another and uh, greet one another. And again, we want to say thank you for joining us. We hope this has been meaningful, that God has touched you, and that you have been able to lay aside your burdens and worries, at least in part, um, tonight to hand those over to God. And again, happy St. Patrick's Day, and we will see you all soon. God bless. Good night. Good night.